Hey everybody, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to do another edition of a tactical book review. The book for today is Light Infantry Tactics for Small Teams by Christopher E. Larson. Uh, this book, I found out after I bought it that uh, Christopher E. Larson is in charge of, is associated with, started, I'm, I'm not sure, one of those, something, it, one shepherd uh, down in Missouri, and I think they also have a campus in West Virginia now, but it's an infantry training school that you can go to just as an everyday person. Haven't been down there yet, really would like to, uh, and especially after reading this book, I would really like to. So this book primarily covers uh, light infantry tactics for small teams, so squad and platoon sized, you know, smaller teams, so you know, give or take 30 guys, like a fire team, four guys, like 30 guys, you know, that's kind of where it covers. And it covers that primarily in like, in the field, meaning like, you know, some kind of rural, rural, remote, wooded area, uh, not necessarily like rolling through a city, right? Or, or entering a room or stuff like that. This is like patrol tactics, uh, ambushes, raids, just kind of the classical infantry stuff that they do in the field is, is really what this covers, those kind of tactics. So I would recommend this book to you if, if that's something that uh, you're interested in. It, it sounds like something would be fun. They, they go through a lot of, you know, like leadership competencies, some patrolling methods, some defensive procedures, some offensive procedures. Uh, you know, just kind of classic, like I said, in the field stuff, raids, ambushes, ORPs, pre-combat inspections, hand and arm signals, how to talk on a radio, how to do land nav, I mean, stuff like that. Uh, and it's, it's not huge, I mean, it's like 200 pages, you know, it's an 8.5 by 11 book, but uh, it's good, it's good. I think if you have some prior knowledge coming into it, it'll help ground you a little bit. I wouldn't say that he starts at zero, but pretty close. Uh, he, he starts pretty close. There are a couple terms you might not know if you've never read anything like this before, but by and large, uh, it's pretty accessible to, to just about anybody. So, like I said, after reading it, I'm more excited to try to get out to One Shepherd. I just, I'm just going to have to make that happen, uh, especially based on this book. I thought it was extremely helpful. So. And that's Light Infantry Tactics for Small Teams by Christopher E. Larson. I will try to put a link to it in the description box below. Hope that you enjoy it. Side note here, now that I'm done with the book thing, so if you're, if you're here for the book, turn it off. Nobody watches these videos, and I totally get that, because uh, reading is hard work. But I just want to make a note that we have to be reading, ladies and gentlemen. Now is the time to be reading. Uh, if you ever actually need to use any of this stuff, you won't have time to read about it then. Uh, now is the time to be reading. I, I know the reading and the dry fire can be a little bland for a lot of us because we want to be action guys and girls, right? We want to get out there and run the gun and shoot and train and like do all the stuff that, that kind of feels really cool. And I get that. I love doing that stuff. But the, the groundwork, the stuff that makes that stuff more enjoyable is the reading and the dry fire and the research and the thinking. We have to be thinking fighters. Uh, if we're not thinking fighters, I don't know what we're doing, but we're, we're not, we're not going to be the most effective fighters we could be. Maybe this is a different video entirely. Maybe I just need to make a different one, but no one will watch that one either. So anyway, uh, read. Read lots of books while you can. So buy these books, read them, thank me later. Recommend it. Hope you enjoy it. Do brave deeds and endure.